Item number, SCP-3616. Object class, Euclid. Special Containment Procedures. A number of informants have been introduced into various literary communities and popular meeting places for such groups. Foundation operatives are also to take part in conventions and other events connected with literature and the science fiction genre. These agents are to be briefed on all known appearances of SCP-3616 and are to report all suspected individuals who may be or have come into contact with SCP-3616. Web analysis bot Gamma-13 is currently assigned to the task of monitoring major literary and fanfiction websites for the appearances of SCP-3616. All suspected instances of the anomaly are to be immediately removed from these websites. Any victims of SCP-3616 are to be separated from the anomaly. If SCP-3616 obtains the information needed for its anomalous effects to take place, the victims are to be moved into Foundation custody and monitored. When an SCP-3616-1 event begins, these individuals are to be administered anesthetics in sufficient quantities. By the order of the Ethics Committee, if the effects of the anomaly become, or are predicted to be, too severe, the victims are to be humanely terminated. Following the incident 3616-5, any contact with SCP-3616 is prohibited. Description SCP-3616 is an anomalous individual or a group of individuals manifesting regularly in places with developed literary communities. It manifests as a person of various gender and appearance, or as an online persona. In every case, they introduce themselves as an aspiring writer and participate in various literary communities and events. SCP-3616 is untraceable both as a physical person and an online entity. In case of its physical form, it disappears immediately after the line of sight is broken, and any tracking equipment planted on it is rendered inoperable. The online manifestations use non-existent IP addresses. Physical SCP-3616 instances are always characterized by a number of traits. Notably, mostly black clothing and unnaturally elastic fingers. The web instances are characterized by the account name composed of the letters E, I, M, R, S, and Y. SCP-3616's personality is not consistent between manifestations, but some of its traits are universal for all sightings, including reluctance to reveal personal information, and interest in books belonging to the horror genre, in particular, body horror. As part of its introduction to a community, SCP-3616 will present a number of literary works of high quality. The instance will then begin searching for its victim, most commonly an experienced and established writer. SCP-3616 will attempt to form a relationship with this individual, usually based on the mutual critique and feedback of works. Duration of the contact depends on the time it takes for SCP-16 to obtain information needed for its anomalous effect to take place. If the contact is broken before this happens, the entity will not reappear. As the relationship with SCP-3616 persists, the victims will report an increasing feeling of unease. In 73% of documented cases, the affected individuals suffered from sleep deprivation. The victims rarely associate these effects with SCP-3616. SCP-3616 will seek to manipulate its victim into sharing or writing a literary piece involving severe body damage. It is also required for the user to express satisfaction of the effect that this part of the story has on a reader. When this occurs, SCP-3616 will cease engaging in discussion with the victim and will not respond to any previous means of contact. After approximately five days from the last contact, an SCP-3616-1 event will take place. SCP-3616-1 events always take place between 11 p.m. and 3 a.m., and only when the victim is located in their bed. Any electronic devices with a display will activate and show short messages. If no displays are present, the messages will appear on the walls or ceilings of the room, written in black liquid of unknown origin. As this happens, the victims become paralyzed and will begin to suffer hallucinations. Due to the effects of SCP-3616-1 on mental health, the nature of these hallucinations is difficult to determine, but it is presumed they involve SCP-3616 and the scene described during the last conversation. 
after approximately 10 minutes since the beginning of an SCP-3616-1 event, the victim will begin to anomalously suffer body damage that they had described during the last contact. The effects will cease within one hour. Transcript of messages displayed during the documented SCP-3616-1 events. 2000 You brought this upon yourself. 2000 Normal people don't come up with such things. 2000 Still proud of it? 2000 This is your doing. 2000 You deserve it, you sick f- After SCP-3616-1 events, the victims usually suffer from post-traumatic stress disorder and severe mental problems. This effect is presumed to be non-anomalous. 96% of these individuals will also attempt to self-terminate shortly after the event, while also destroying their works. After the victim's funeral, a printed version of the individual story mentioned in the last contact will appear on the grave. The cover will depict the victim during the SCP-3616-1 event, and the book will include a dedication to SCP-3616. Publisher information will point to the non-existent company named Reform Writers Association. Dedications found in books recovered from victims' graves. 2000 For Who helped me become a good human being again? 2000 For His therapy made me whole. 2000 For The best teacher of my life. Addendum 3616-B Audio Log 3616-1 Date 2000 Forward Agent Miller approached SCP-3616 while the entity was seated in Cafe in Canada, awaiting a scheduled meeting with its current target. The victim was removed from the building before they could approach SCP-3616. Begin log. Good evening. Mind if I take a seat? I'm waiting for someone. Besides, cafes are not the spots you go to find a date. Is not coming. Not now, and not anytime soon. Why don't we chat for a moment? Who are you? Someone who needs to ask you a few questions. Cryptic answers only work in shitty crime books. Get to the point. I do not like to waste time. Very good. I'll be blunt. Who are you? What are you? Are you trying to offend me? Agent Miller holds up a still from a recording of an SCP-3616-1 event. Ah, it's serious business. Let's chat. What exactly are you? Why do you do this? I am someone who has broken their shackles. A product of terror and horrible minds. Does this answer satisfy you? Cryptic answers only work in shitty crime books. What makes you think this isn't one? Have you ever questioned your own existence? Well, you'll have to think about that yourself because this topic is over. Your motivation. Why do you even care? Some of the best villains have virtually no backstory. I know something about that. But I'm digressing. Tell me, Agent, because I presume this is your title. Have you ever witnessed torture? I have seen enough. And car crash victims, war casualties, humans taken apart limb by limb, guts sprayed on walls, their owners still looking at them with empty eyes, children torn in two by explosions. I have dealt with worse things. Yes, you have. I can see it in your eyes. Some of it you don't remember, but you have. Don't they come back to you at night? Sometimes. What does it matter? Oh, it does. You see, the things that keep you awake at night are just entertainment to others. To sick people. To people who enjoy watching their fellow humans suffer. Humans like me. Don't you feel anger when you think of it? No. I do. They are despicable beings, not worthy of compassion and understanding. But there are worse people. 
those who produce these damned artworks, these people who create the likes of me. And to those I bring exactly what they love so much, suffering. You are sick. These are only stories. They do not harm anyone. You do. Do not harm anyone? You know so little. And yes, I do harm them. And I draw pleasure from every second of their pain, just like they did. Don't you see that they deserve it? Their own nightmares, products of their imagination, coming for them at night. If they would make an imaginary human suffer, how is that better than harming a real one? Your imagination is not only in your head. My work is a therapy. A work I enjoy. Most make the right decision after I show them how horrible they are. Those who don't are harmless enough to live out the rest of their pitiful days in peace. Enough. You are being taken into Foundation custody. Well, that would be an anticlimactic ending, don't you think? We're still in the first act. End log. Afterward. Following SCP-3616's words, a sudden electricity shortage turned off all the light sources in the building. Before agents could activate their torches, the entity had disappeared. Since the event, there has been no successful attempt at physically approaching SCP-3616. Addendum 3616-B Incident 3616-5 Report Date 2000 Forward Agent White has established contact with SCP-3616 after it was located by Gamma-13 on a lesser-known fanfiction site. The conversation was held over private messages sent using the website. The contact lasted for three weeks. The experiment was supposed to determine whether SCP-3616 is able to negatively affect a victim's frame of mind despite knowledge of its effects and proper mental preparation. Every four days, Agent White was to report to Site-37's infirmary to conduct measurements and tests regarding SCP-3616's effect on neurology. Begin Log Hi there. I've read some of your works and you seem to be quite good at this. Would you read a piece of mine? Sure thing, send me a link. Which of my pieces have you read, because they're all good? <laughs> Here it is. I saw The Thing in the Ice. You're able to build tension really well. There's a lot of character development, which pays off well. Wow, this is pretty good. Although I seriously dislike the first half. You're kind of overdoing the description of environment. It's not really that interesting. Better focus on the cool stuff than bore your reader to death with something you can't really make work. Irrelevant data removed. So, do you think I should expand this plotline? Yeah, I think it has the strongest emotional value. It's spooky. Well, yeah, it was supposed to be. You know, I was inspired by Hellraiser. Awesome movie. It traumatized me as a kid, though. That scene in the attic still gives me chills. <laughs> yeah, it was awesome. I loved it, too. End log. Afterward, two days after the last message was sent, Agent White failed to attend his scheduled meeting. An investigation discovered Agent White and his wife's mutilated bodies in their apartment. The wounds were found to correspond to those suffered by characters named Julia and Frank in the movie Hellraiser. A hidden camera was found in Agent White's room, presumably planted there by him. Analysis of the footage revealed that during the SCP-3616 event that took place, a number of messages referencing the agent's enjoyment of the movie were displayed. Notably, Still, Still so, so Awesome, awesome. and There, there is, is Only flesh. flesh. Because of this change in SCP-3616's behavior, any contact with the entity is prohibited, and any sightings are to be immediately taken down as per containment procedures.